Hi guys, it's Half. I am back again. This is part 10. Yes, you heard that correctly. Part 10 of my makeup collection. And there's still probably another five parts to go. I know, I have a lot. But I also didn't want these videos to be super long. Most of them are already around 20 minutes long. Uh, which is, you know, enough, quite frankly. So this is the drawer that we are going to go in today. There will be a playlist linked down below to the rest of the collection. This drawer mainly has powders and concealers in it with a few other bits and pieces, uh, things like colour correctors and stuff like that. So let's just get into what is in this box. So first up I have... Um, a couple of these, I have a couple elsewhere as well in different colours. These are the LA Colours Cover Up Pro Concealers. These are the coloured ones. So this one is the lavender one and this one here is the yellow one. So of course they have their particular uses. I also have a green one and an orange one. But they're like it's sort of in current rotation at the moment because I actually use those ones. I have this Natio Complexion Corrector. This is a green corrector, uh, particularly good for rosacea. So as you can see, it's just uh, green. It's actually pretty good. I actually quite like this one. Um, I have this Avon um, Color Corrector Cream in... Uh, medium, so this is supposed to be like a CC cream. It's probably a tad dark, but if I put some into, say, like a moisturizer, I could make a tinted moisturizer, which is what those are basically pretty good for. I have this Essence um, Match to Cover Cream Concealer in, I believe it's in light. But I can't see that one there. So one side is slightly uh, pinker or yellower, depending on how you look at things, than the other side. Um, and the cream, um, they're supposed to be good for covering dark circles. They're not great. It's one of those things that I'll probably try using a few more times, and if it doesn't work, I'll probably get rid of it. I have this Kryolan um, concealer wheel. I got this from Tamara J. Um, as you can see, there's a couple that she has used quite a bit of. Um, but these actually have quite a bit of um, product in them, which is like really, really good. And on the bottom of it, it tells you what the best uses are for it. So there's um, a couple for neutralizing red, one for neutralizing blue, one for neutralizing purple, and one for neutralizing brown. So like the one for neutralizing brown, if you've got like really strong freckles that you want to like cover up, that's actually what that one was good for, that one right there. So that's, you know, that's pretty cool to have. And Krylon's like a really good brand. This is the corrector wheel that came out of my kit. This is the one that we got given with our kit. Um, this is the crown corrector wheel. It's actually not too bad. As you can see, I have used some of it quite a bit. Um, we actually often use the brown to contour with, because it's actually not a bad contour colour. And I use the green one quite a bit. So that's that one. Not the worst correctors I've ever used. Um, then I have this Pons Flawless White BB Cream. I'm currently using the age version of this. This is supposed to, I don't know why people need to be white. In it. I mean I'm already white, that's not really the point. And this is obviously more a um, aimed towards uh, people with Asian skin who want to be whiter. Um, that is something that they particularly aspire to, or some of them do, so I um, haven't actually used this one yet, but I quite like the Pons one I'm currently using, and I prefer BB creams really over most foundations, it's just a personal preference. 
This is the Lacura Beauty Foundation with Sunscreen in Ivory. I haven't actually used this yet. I tried their BB cream and I was not super impressed with it. Although I'm going to give it another try because that's what I'm like. But I thought I'd try out the foundation. I just haven't got around to using it yet. It's supposed to have SPF 15 moisture, um, sunscreen and supposed to be moisturizing. So that will be interesting to see because I haven't tried it yet. I have this Physician's Formula Concealer Twins. Um, as you can see, one side is very yellow, one side is less yellow. Unfortunately, um, this is, is not the best for me. I will try working with it again because, you know, I, uh, I find that as you go along, you, you learn tricks to make things work or not necessarily work. And I think this is the only colorway that this comes in. Um, it's just, it's a bit dark. Like, I can't use it for lightening um, and brightening too much. And the yellow is super duper yellow, which I'm sure would work for someone with darker skin than me. But it's it's not great for me. This may be one of those things that gets de-stashed this year as I work through things and like, decide I really don't like things. I have this Ole Total Effects CC Cream. Um, I haven't really used this one. This is apparently pore minimizing. I don't think I've actually used it yet. I bought it one day and um, yeah, that was pretty much it. That's that's what happens sometimes. I buy stuff and then I kind of stick it in my container and forget about it, <laughs> which is a really, really bad habit. Um, I have this NYX Concealer Stick. This one, Well, actually, I have two of them. Uh, one of them is in CS01 and one is in CS02 Fair. Um, yeah, they're both pretty light. I really haven't used them, so I don't actually know what they're like. Uh, then I have this concealer pen from BYS. This is one of those ones that you twist up and it comes out the top. This is actually just a bit too dark for me. Um, it's in light to medium. I don't think they had anything lighter. Um, it, again, maybe something that gets de-stashed this year. I have this Pro Conceal from LA Girl. This one is in Classic Ivory. It's honestly, I know a lot of people really like these, but... And it was funny because I was using this before all this hype started on YouTube. Um, it was certainly not something I bought because of the YouTube hype. I actually already had it. Um, I, I just, maybe there's something wrong with mine, but I just, as you can see, I tried panning it at one point. Um, it's just, it's not my favourite, but maybe I've learned enough skills in the last sort of six months to actually make it actually work for me, but I don't know. It's just not my favourite. I also don't think the colour is particularly good for me, even though it's probably the lightest colour, or nearly the lightest colour you can get. And then I have this one from LA Colours, which is a stick concealer in light, which is a much sort of better colour match for my pastiness. At least it's pink toned and not yellow toned, which is so annoying. Um, I have this from Physicians Formula. This is their Translucent Mineral Wear Talc Free Matte Finishing Veil. Um, I've tried using this this brush that's on the top of this thing. It's so scratchy and horrible. Do not recommend using. Um, I have actually tried to use it. But seriously, is that translucent? Does, in, in what country is that translucent? I always thought translucent meant not really any colour, and that to me has quite a bit of colour to it. And in my experience, this actually changes the colour of my foundation, which means it is not translucent, even though it claims to be. Uh, I have this fashionista, fashionista, wow, language today, uh, ready to wear shine stopper. This is like just a little tiny powder thing. I have not really used this. This is supposed to be in translucent, at least this one, I, th 
I don't think I've actually used it, so I don't know whether it's any more or less translucent than any of the others. I really should get on to using this, but it's supposed to be like really, really good. You can't actually get the Fashionista brand anymore, it doesn't actually exist. Um, this is the loose powder that I used in my kit. This one comes from Artist Selection, which is what Crown basically gives you. Um, as you can see, it is a white powder. It is a HD powder. It is actually pretty bloody good, I have to say. I actually quite like this one. I've found that I prefer like white powders or no color powders. I really want to get some of that RC RCMA uh, no color powder because that, that seems like something that would work really well for me. I think it's something that happens when you're very pale, that a lot of these ones that are apparently translucent are really not translucent for you because you're so pale, um, whereas white powders are good. Unfortunately, white powders and like HD powders can cause flashback quite badly in flash photography, so you do have to be careful. I have this cover girl. This is another one of those ones. It says translucent light. Now, if we compare these two colours, um, yeah, this one is really dark in comparison to this one here. And this one's supposed to be translucent light. It, I don't know, guys. That's, I don't understand. In what country is that translucent light? Certainly not for pasty white people like me. Um, so that might be something that I use like as <laughs> a bronzer or maybe I only use it in summer when I have a little bit of colour. Um, this one is from Ladykin. This is the close-up de couple fitting powder. Um, it is supposed to brighten and even skin tone uh, and diminish dark spots and fine lines and redness. Uh, again, uh, this is like yellow. And I know people talk about banana powders and I think that's what this is supposed to be like. It's like a banana powder. The problem is, is when you're very pink toned and very pale, banana powder doesn't actually work very well. <laughs> Um, yeah, there might be a few other things that are getting de-stashed this year simply because I've, I've finally give up and realise that I just can't make them work. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. This came out of a beauty box. This is the Bow Box Wonder Powder, which is supposed to be an intuitive mineral powder foundation. Uh, this says nearly nude. I used to think that if something said nearly nude, it meant that it would work for me. I'm not necessarily convinced anymore. I probably would have worn darker years ago than I do now. I have to admit, I have not actually tried this. I don't know whether it works or not. But it just looks... Hmm. Maybe I could make it work. Hmm. I should give it a go, probably, and see if I can make it work. It doesn't look like it would be too bad, actually. So, yeah. But, as you can see, I haven't really used it. Otherwise, I'd already know that. Uh, this is the Physician's Formula. Talc-free mineral face powder in translucent. Again, this is one of those ones that says translucent. but actually has enough colour that it actually affects my foundation um, in not a good way. Um, yeah. <laughs> you can see how much luck I have with this kind of stuff, can't you? Uh, this is the Anoxa face powder. This is in translucent suede. Again, with that stupid translucent word. This is more of a bronzer tone for me. Can you see? That's like bronzer. <laughs> There's no way that that is my colour. <laughs> yeah, 
So I, I might attempt to use that as a bronzer, but that, that that's about all it's ever going to be. Not that I really bronze very much, um, but there you go. Um, this is the LA Girls Pressed Powder in Ivory. This at least looks like the kind of colour I can work with. Like, you know, it's, it's white. <laughs> it's white like I am. So, uh, yeah, that one I can at least work with. I might actually be able to use that one. Uh, this is the e.l.f. Clarifying Pressed Powder. This is apparently in rosy beige. I'm not 100% why I bought it. I swear this is not the colour that I thought I bought. Because I got this on Shop Miss A, but look at the colour of that. It's like bronzer. That is bronzer colour for a white person like me. For pasty person like me, yeah, that's right. We'll just put it over where I already have powder. Uh, yeah, that's. <laughs> I could almost use that as blush. That is definitely not a face powder color on me. I have this lol face powder in very light. This one does actually work for me. It is fine. It is a touch yellow, which is a little annoying, but that's okay. And then I have, the last thing in the box, is the Maybelline Fit Me in 115. I haven't actually touched this, but it does look like a very good colour for me. But it is the one that I have not touched yet. So that is everything that is in this particular drawer. Um, again, I will link the playlist down below if you want to check out the rest of my collection. Leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below and don't click, forget to click the bell as well so that you get notifications when I put up a new video. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.